What actually gains happiness in any endeavor in life is a gap between your expectations and your circumstances. So you need to put just as much effort and emphasis into both sides of that equation and keeping your expectations low and realizing that like, look, I have aspirations for more. I want more money. I want a more successful career. But if everything ended here today, I think I'd, 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 I'd be just fine. Because I think what I have right now is enough, even if I have ambitions. And I think getting those two things to coexist is really important. In fact, we could probably point to happiness as one of the most sought after states or commodities or emotions, whatever you want to call it. Happiness is what many people are seeking in work, in relationships, and in general. And yet most of us can't really define exactly what happiness is. Factors that determine happiness. It's going to be social connection, not income. It's going to be uh, the amount of time that you are able to have open thinking and creativity, which I think is an essential feature of happiness, by the way. Physical health, in particular, one's ability to stay mobile. Sleep, we have nutrition, we have social interactions, we have purposeful work, whether or not it's paid work or non-paid work. And of course, there are things like exercise and maybe relationships to pets and things of that sort. And there are a few others as well. All of those are known to increase your overall state of well-being that puts you in a position to access more meaning and happiness, etc. But income level and material things don't necessarily scale with happiness and vice versa. And yet, we also acknowledge that while indeed money can't buy happiness, it can buffer stress. And while work doesn't necessarily bring happiness per se, work can bring a tremendous feeling of meaning and resources, which can then put you into context in which things like pro-social contact and enhanced bonds and caretaking of others and their of you can be enhanced. So it would be unfair and in fact inaccurate to simply view happiness through the lens of money doesn't matter, it's all about social connection. Peace and happiness are the very nature of yourself. You don't need to be made happy. You don't need to manipulate your experience in order to find peace and happiness. Peace and happiness are the very nature of yourself. They are, they are prior to and independent of the content of experience. The reason I use the word happiness is because if we were to do a survey of all 7.8 billion people in the world and ask them, what is it you want above all else? Most people would start by giving a list of um, uh, a relationship, a family, a better health, a nice household, you know, these kind of things. But then if we were to ask them, but, but why do you want these things? Almost everyone would answer, because I think they will make me happy. In other words, happiness is the, the thing that people want, the experience that people want above all else. So, um, and that is not intended. I would suggest that happiness is not, not really an emotion in the sense that, that um, jealousy, hurt, uh, um, upset, anger, anxiety, fear are emotions. I would suggest that happiness is, is the ever-present background of all emotions. It's like the blue sky behind the clouds. It's always there. Doesn't mean to say it's always visible because it's sometimes covered by clouds. But it, but the blue sky and the grey clouds don't alternate with each other. The blue sky is always there. It's sometimes seen and it is sometimes obscured. I would suggest that peace or happiness are the nature of ourself and simply by virtue of the presence that our self is always present. So peace and happiness are always present. But this doesn't mean that it's always felt. Why not? Because it is obscured by the by the grey clouds of thoughts and feelings. And that happiness is the, the nature of our being and, and is available to all people at all times. Stay in love. Just love your being. Love yourself. Love your friends. Love your life.